Okay guys, welcome back. Now in, th in the previous video, we looked at how to populate images and that looks awesome. So in this one, we're going to look at how to auto lay out this. As you can see, the view is pretty stretched at the sides and it's not looking beautiful on this. So it would definitely look good on the iPhone 4 because we are using it for construction here. Um, to do that, actually we are going to get rid of the, let me just, um, recent files and I'll open a main storyboard in this side and then on this side I will open the preview so here you can preview your how your app will look on different devices right now we're looking at the I think four inch we can look at how it look on the three point uh, five looks good uh, 4.7 and as you can see we have a little space to the right and uh, open a 5.5 and as you can see it's the same it's pretty a big space here so let's okay so i thought we we're not recording <laughs> all right so since we are recording let's go on and try to ma make this all look uh centered the first thing i'm going to do here is first of all let's start with uh the registration page. So as soon as we click, it's just populated everywhere. And as you can see, there's this space and there's this space. So let's fix that. To fix this, we click that, for example, because we want it to be centered. As you can see, it's like aligned towards the left. So we're going to click this, and we wanted 41 uh, margin to be 41 from the top to retain that, and then. Uh, maintain the width and the height and then you add those three constraints and then you click here the next one and then you want a horizontal center and container so there's four you know there's uh, four margins to add and that's it it's centered as you can see it's centered here very well let's do the same for that we want to say 20 from the top maintain the width and the height and then horizontal center and container. The same applies to this. Eight from the top, maintain the width and height. Uh, three, and horizontal layout and container. That's eight from the top, width and height. Uh, three constraints, horizontal layout, horizontal center right there. As you can see now, our app looks pretty centered except for this other stuff looks good I'm going to touch on those as well and so I tend not to worry about auto layout until later but sometimes it's uh, I do it early whichever you decide so say 35 from the nope I want it uh, Spacing. Okay, we need to click that first, and then eight from the top. Maintain its width and height. Add the three constraints, and as you can see, it's aligned over here, everywhere. So all we have to do, same again. We've done it over. Click that, and then it jumps to the center. The same here. Eight from the top, width, height. Add three constraints horizontal center and container so that looks pretty uh, neat yep that looks good so we're done with that now let's move on to like tackling this easiest ones first because it's just the same and say 25 from the top add those three constraints I haven't tried a uh, multiple selection, which is probably the next thing I'm thinking of doing, where you can select all of them and just do this once. I haven't tried that yet, but maybe in the future. So let's just keep going with what I know. You could try that too as well, so that if you get something, you could just inform us. We appreciate it. 
so we get this going real quick here uh, I don't know if that's gonna really work from the top let's see oh that looks good mm -hmm. same here maintain its width and height and then center it in the container that's it that's how it's done. Look, that's good looking good and then now let's head to this image we want this image as well to be centered as you can see it's leaving spaces here so with this one I'm going to say I want it negative 16 and negative 16 to touch the edges and then 32 from the top and then add those three constraints and vertical and container and as you can see we have a problem because we need now to maintain the width and height I believe unfortunately that did not work right so we need to hmm. you know what for this one I'll just skip the width and height so I'll clear the constraints here click the other one on the left far left to clear the constraints that you put so clear constraints and start over so I'll just maintain the width and height for simplicity here my auto layout is pretty broad so the stuff that works sometimes they don't so uh, something to figure out so as you can see here I actually selected the wrong item all right so what I want is the image view itself so I'll click here in the inspector and the image view is what I'm looking for so after selecting the image view now I can do the same here let's say maintain the width and height because I maintain it for the button because we say the button is of overlay just common sense uh, three constraints and then horizontal center and container now that is looking neat really the same here eight from the top maintain its width and height uh, three constraints and then center it in the container and we have this upload a from the top add three constraints horizontal center in container now that looks really good so let's look at now the list view for the list view we want it to touch the bottom the edges negative 16 that is the edges and 22 from the top because we have a, a what do you call it? a navigation bar and then we don't want to maintain the width and height because that will be automatic depending on the if we maintain the width and height then it will be really hmm that looked uh, I wonder what happened there well let's keep trying and then this image I want that now to maintain its uh, I want that to touch the edges so let's try this that's a little complicated here and you want to say add two constraints and then a horizontal center and container well that then do good so we'll just maintain its width and height and that is not looking great so as you can see it's still aligned to the left I think because uh, if I open this you can see that we have another table view here which I do not understand how it came to be there I think I dragged it by mistake but um, I'll fix this and I will be back to show you how I did it alright guys so I've managed to remove that uh, table view that was bothering me now uh, I'm going to try again so I'll start with the navigation bar let's try to auto layout that one 
and we come here and with this one now we want it to stretch from edges to edges negative 16 and negative 16 and we want it zero from the top as well and then we add those three constraints and as you can see with that one it's pretty straightforward but then again if I try to rotate this and uh, scroll oh, it actually reaches the edge so that's pretty cool sometimes it doesn't so you might need to add this horizontal center and container just in case but that looks okay uh, now the image view now let's update that by saying want it to negative 8 and negative 8 add two constraints uh, matter of fact let's use the suggested constraints right here and as you can see if I use a suggested constraint it uh, stretches the image itself so that is cool okay and with this we want to clear its constraints so that resets it to the left and that looks really cool across all devices and I don't know if I change the table yeah the table looks pretty good in all so if I run it now that looks really good doesn't it yep really nice so if I run it on any iPhone it's going to look uh, pretty decent pretty decent so that is a little introduction to auto layout but that's all you need pretty much to make your apps uh, ready to start rolling so that's pretty much it for this tutorial I don't know if I missed something I do not think so because the app looks see as you can see everything is aligned towards the center let's add an image and see let's add the same image here as you can see it's aligned to the center good work that's for you if you did it with me and we get an error because well I haven't logged in because I logged out so I have to log in again but it's the same procedure anyways everywhere and We've seen how the app works. As a matter of fact, I'm not happy that way. I just feel like I need to really log in and post something. So I'll go to main storyboard and I will make this as the initial view controller so that when you launch the app, this is the initial view before release. So um, boom, initial view controller. Yeah, so and now uh, if I try to add something, uploads as soon as it's done, it's good work. So, yeah, good work, and we can log out. All right, uh, I think in the next future tutorial I'll be showing you how to create an, a different kind of app so good job in creating this one and I'll see you in the next video make sure you subscribe share the videos and uh, keep going